consider the following four transitions for a hydrogen atom. A, n equals to 2 to n equals to 4. B, n equals to 2 to n equals to 1. C, n equals to 6 to n equals to 2. And D, n equals to 3 to n equals to 5. 1. Which of the transitions will emit the shortest wavelength photon? 2. Which of them will cause the atom to gain the most energy? A and D involves transition that's going from lower to higher energy states. So these two, they have to absorb a photon. The other two, they go to a lower energy state, so they emit a photon. So for number one, we want the one that emits the shortest wavelength photon, that means the most energy. For B and the C, 2 to 1, 6 to 2. Because of the equation, negative 13.6 EV over N squared, if you remember, the N equals to 1 to N equals to 2 involves the most energy. Therefore, any transition that involves N equals to 1 is going to have more energy involved than the transition between two other states. Therefore, B is the one involves the most energy. So the answer for 1 is B. Which of them will cause the atom to gain the most energy? The, when the atoms absorb energy, the atoms would gain energy. So the answer must be one of the two of A and the D. 2 to 4 and the 3 to 5 both go up by 2 in terms of N. But this one involves N equals to 2 to 4. That's lower because the energy states, they go closer and closer and closer in terms of energy. Therefore, 2 to 4 would involve more energy than 3 to 5. Just because the larger the N, the closer the states are together in terms of energy. So the answer must be A.